are organized. There are different kind of viewing protocols here. So right here, I'm on the, uh, I'm in my, my desktop. So my desktop folder shows up here. And if I click on, uh, if I want to go someplace else, say I want to see a, a view of everything that's on the computer, see in the second window that clicking on, on the local device, DWN MD 122401 will show me everything that is kind of currently connected to the computer. So here, if I click on DW Macintosh, users, and then click here on, on the home icon, this is another way of getting to the same place. And here, I can also use this to kind of go back along any path. So these are the arrows at the top. I can change the view here, um, so I can look at them as icons, which I think is pretty useless. This will tell us the folder name, but not necessarily much information about anything else. And it only allows you to see within kind of one folder at, at a time. The second option here, and let's just go, I'll go to my drive here. So this one allows me to um, see a list view. So this gives me a little bit more information. I can see the year here at the top. Um, I can see the name of the file. So the year each one of these was created shows up here, the name of the file, and the file extension is showing up so I can see what kind of file it is. So a .psd file, for example, is a Photoshop document. Uh, a .mov file is a QuickTime movie. The year created, the file size, and again, over here I can see the kind. So a little bit more useful. If you need to see more of one of these columns, just drag this and kind of rearrange that. So if I want this to be bigger, I can just extend that there. Uh, but, you know, if you, there are also other ways you can organize this as well. Uh, for example, here, you can see there's a little blue dot next to practice green screen media, that folder. That is um, one of the tagging devices that you have available to you on the Mac. And this is uh, a way to kind of color code your files and organize them. So um, to add this kind of color coding, just right click. And these are the simplest ones, color. You can also create custom names. And a custom name would go in and allow you to organize by, by that particular tag. This um, allows you to sort things according to different, um, sorry, this allows you to sort things according to different options. So date last opened, date added, date modified, date created, size, or tags. So if you've organized things according to tags and you bring that up, you'll see we can see what's in that folder that's tagged. In this case, just the very simple color tag. So we can see that we have an MPEG movie file and a PSD file that have tags attached to them. Uh, you could also organize it by name, by kind. Kind is a little bit more useful by application. So I can see all my Photoshop files together, my folders together, and my um, movie files in, in another section. Date added, date modified, date created, size, or tags again, or none. None is, of course, the least useful of these options. Now um, here, again, this is what where you would add a tag from, and we'll look at how to create custom tags later on. So this is the list view. That's what that's known as. Uh, the third option here is a column view. Um, so that's kind of handy if you want to see the directory structure of where files located. So here I can see we're in classes, which is my external hard drive. Click on animation and I can see the files and folders that are within my animation folder. And if I click on another, you know, another folder within that, I can see what's there. Or if I click on a file, 
that is going to give me uh, specific information about that file. So here I can see that uh, the file name is character underscore a dot mov. It's a QuickTime movie and it's 1.5 megabytes. I can see when it was created, the size. So it's 1280 by 720, which is known as 720p. I can also use this to add tags. So when I'm in this view, I can add tags very quickly by clicking here. Now, um, with most files, you'll also get a little preview. This is in an older format of, of QuickTime, so I'm not getting a preview, just the application icon. If I click on the converted movie here, so this one's been updated, then I get a little preview of what the file looks like. And if I click on here, I can actually play that file. And so if it's a, a movie file or an audio file, I can play that and have a look at what it actually looks like. Now, um, the other thing I can do here, and this is a shortcut that's very useful when you want to look at something and it's slightly larger, but you don't want to kind of open the file. Um, if you hit the space bar, then it expands it and plays it at a, at a full size. So it will do this with video or audio. If it's just a still image, you just get a preview of what it is. So here, um, if I have another type of file here, this is the PSD. So this gives me a very quick preview of the file. And uh, here, this is an After Effects file, so I'm not really going to see much here. Just, again, the software icon. But uh, those are some of the options you have in terms of organizing. Uh, we'll look at the, the last kind of way you can look at a window here. And this is a combination one. It shows, um, shows the icons here. It gives you some of the things you get in the list view. So again, it organizes it according to whatever you have set here. So this is organized according to size. We could organize it according to name or kind. And kind of the, this is what's known as kind of the quick flow organizational method. So here it gives me a larger kind of preview here. Again, um, this is an After Effects project, so it's not allowing me to see what's in it, just the name down here. And here again, this needs to be updated, so it's just showing me the, the program icon, so it's a QuickTime movie file. But if I go further on, okay, so this is an MP4, so it's giving me a little preview here, and I can play it here and see what is actually included. And the same thing if it was an audio file, I could get a little preview there. And again, here, let's just, now let's go back. So this one, again, it's got the little um, preview button so I can see what's actually in the file. And here again, this one doesn't need to be updated so I can just see what it is right away and I can go in and, and play it. Now. These are options for kind of looking at things, previewing them, finding them. Um, and I, I don't think it, it really matters which one you use. I'm going to recommend a couple of things, though. Don't use the icon view. It, it tells you very little. and It's not necessarily going to give you the most information. List view is good. Personally, I, um, I like this view. It gives you a larger preview over here. And what I find sometimes with the um, this view, the one that, that kind of allows you to get a preview by going back and forth between things, if you have a super large file, sometimes this preview up here um, doesn't load very quickly. So this is one of the reasons why I prefer this one. I can see exactly where it is. I can click on something and then just hit it to get a preview of what 